What is up you guys? Welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I want to talk about Fortnite. As you can see right here, I'm playing Fortnite. And I've been playing Fortnite ever since they brought no building to the game. And I've been having a lot of fun. So I do want to talk about that and still the state of Call of Duty at the same time. But before I get into the topic, I just want to thank everybody that has shown love and support to me ever since I got monetized. Thank you to everybody that's come through to the live streams, dropped super chats and donations and super stickers and all that. I appreciate the love and the support. It, it goes a long way. Believe me, it does. And I just hope that we can continue on this path of growth and we can all climb this mountain together. I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Thank you guys so much. Now let's get to the topic at hand. Now, ever since this new Fortnite update has gone live with this you no know, building mode, um, I've been having a lot of fun. I've been having a lot of fun, and I know what people are gonna say. Oh, it's Fortnite. It's you know it's a cartoony kitty game. Blah blah whatever. You know it's not Call of Duty. Blah blah. I know I know Call of Duty is the more quote unquote manly game, more gritty more tough, more hardcore. But Fortnite is still is still a shooter. And this no building now requires a little bit more gun skill. And as a Call of Duty player, I think some of those skills have translated over to Fortnite and have made me a pretty decent I mean I'm not I'm not the best, I'm not the greatest, but a, a pretty you know, I've done well for myself since um I've been playing this uh, since last week. Uh, already got uh, several wins already. Well, maybe not as many as others, but I'm mostly a solo player. So, you know, sometimes solo wins are hard to come by. But I've been having a lot of fun. I've been, you know, doing my thing in, on this game and holding my own. And I've, I've been having a lot of fun. And I heard that when they take away the no building, they might bring it back as an option. And I hope that they do. Because as a Call of Duty player, it is depressing. I mean, we've talked about this many, many times already before. It's like, it, we're, we sound like a broken record at this point. I mean, no matter what updates they put out, no matter what new features, new game modes, whatever they do, it's still a depressing and, and frustrating experience. Obviously based matchmaking the algorithm i mean i get it a lot of games have spmm had their algorithms but the experience here on fortnite has been a completely different experience compared to call of duty i mean i don't always have the best games on fortnite there has been some silly crap that has happened to me while playing but you know what overall the majority of of my time playing this game has been an amazing experience with this no building feature. I cannot say the same about Call of Duty. Even with their season two upload that just came out, yeah, I know the new SMG is amazing. It slaps, it's, it's, it's good, but you know what? It's only as good as what SBMM allows you to, 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 to do with it. You know what I mean? Call of Duty, you, it's, 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 Nowadays, it's more of a, you know, short-term experience as far as like, okay, maybe the game will let you do good for, you know, a handful of games, and then if you do good for a handful of games, then it, then it's over. The experience is over. It the fun is over. You might as well turn the game off and don't play until the next day. You know, Vanguard. Still a lot of broken things in Vanguard. A lot of broken things in Warzone. Warzone is still a piece of junk right now. You know, it doesn't matter what they do. There's a lot of things still broken with the game, especially Vanguard. I mean, Warzone, especially on console. Oh, my God. If you still play Warzone on console, please stop. Please stop. Okay, please. All right. It, it's such a horrible experience. Please. Please. I mean, console players make up the majority of the Call of Duty community. And if we all, if most of us just stopped playing Warzone on console, maybe they'd be forced to do something. The developers. Maybe. But anyway... Fortnite, this whole revival, it is. I think it's good for gaming. You know why? Because it's a new thing that people can come to and play and enjoy 
while maybe if you're coming from the Call of Duty world, which is such a wreck right now, coming from that to this has been such a sigh of relief, a breath of fresh air, and I never thought in my wildest dreams that I'd be playing Fortnite, becoming a Fortnite player, you know, you know, on a daily basis, and I'm loving it. And I do hope that they stick to what the rumors are, and that they bring a no option, a build, a no build option to the game, so that the players that prefer a no building style of Fortnite will be able to still play the game, and will keep those players playing this game because. Right now, so many people are talking about Fortnite. So many people are posting about Fortnite. A lot of players are playing Fortnite right now. Uh, uh, you know, it, it, it's it's such a boost for you know, um, you know, for Epic and, and and the developers that developed this game. I think it would be a dumb idea not to bring no building back. So I I, I think this is good not just on a business uh, side, but also. You know, for the community, for for everybody. You know, I know there's people that before. Oh no, the Fortnite. It's it's the building is, is meant. You know, for this part. That's what Fortnite is. Blah blah. blah. Whatever. Okay. Whatever. Whatever. Do you, boo boo? Okay. <laughs> when building comes back, do you? All right. As long as there's no building, I'll have no problem. You know, gunning you guys down. Cause you know what? At the end of the day, you still gotta get your 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 your, your kills and your and, and use your guns. You know, your 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 skills to you know to win the game. All right. No matter which way you twist it, all right. You can we can argue back and forth about that, but whatever. Anyways, um, yeah. So I think when a game is good, you know, like like Fortnite is right now, when it doesn't have as many problems, people will want to invest more time and here I say money into the game. Okay, I've been having such a good time on Fortnite. I I bought the battle pass. I spent a little money. I bought you know the, the 3.99 um little bundle that they had in the store i bought it you know because i'm having a good experience so i said you know what let me invest a little bit into fortnite because i'm having a good time call of duty nowadays with as broken as it is and even the store in vanguard has been such a disaster i mean come on who thought that they'd be breaking the store <laughs> In Call of Duty, like I mean, even even the store is broken in Vanguard. That should tell you how bad this game is and how broken this game is. I mean, a, a, a game like that. I know uh, Call of Duty still makes a lot of money. People still buy these silly bundles. I, hey, I'm guilty of buying a few still. I mean, but you know what? If I had to choose between putting my money into Fortnite right now or putting my money into Call of Duty right now, I'm sorry, I'm putting my money into Fortnite. You know why? Because my experience on Fortnite has been flawless, flawless fun and i know like i said earlier people are gonna say oh it's a goofy game it's a cartoony game you know call of duty's manly it's tough but you know what fortnite is a game that works it performs it's not broken you know you get put in games almost instantaneously as you start the game up and as you finish a game i mean like come on like how long does it take on average to find a lobby in vanguard and in warzone and Especially in Vanguard, the lobbies don't even fill up. As a free-for-all player, the lobbies don't even fill up the right way. You know, even in team game modes, a lot of the lobbies don't fill up. Either I'm on a shorthanded team or I'm playing against a shorthanded team. Like, every single time. None of, like, half the maps are missing in multiplayer. Like, it's, it's absolutely fucking ridiculous. And this whole Rebirth Solos experience has been nothing but a clown show. Nothing but a circus. I mean, my God. I mean... Like I, 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 I can't stand it. I really cannot stand it anymore. And I'm I'm having a good time playing Fortnite. I'm having so much fun playing Fortnite that I even got myself a creator code for Fortnite. You know, use creator code Night Rider Ralph in all caps, um, in all your, you know, Fortnite purchases or Epic's Epic Games purchases. Um I would appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, I got a creator code for Fortnite already. I mean how 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 about that, right? How about that? Anyways, um yeah, this experience for me has been such an amazing one. Um, I, I'd like to know what do you guys think. I know some people think, oh yeah, Fortnite is for is, you know is dorky and all that, but you know what? It works. Okay, it works. It's not broken. Nothing that I've come across about this game is is broken. You know, um, I don't get I don't get kicked out of games. I don't lag. You know, it doesn't take a long time to find lobbies. 
you know, when I shoot people, they actually die. You know, no, 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 no packet bursts. You can choose your own servers. If you want to play on the East Coast, you want to play on the West Coast. You want to play in Asia. You want to play in Europe. You want to play in Brazil. You want to play in North freaking Pole. You can. It's such a seamless experience. And I want to thank Epic Games. I want to thank these developers for bringing this to light. Because, man, I think this is what gaming needed right now. We needed an outlet. I know this. You know, people are playing Elden Ring. Um, you know, maybe some people are still playing Gran Turismo. I'm not even playing Gran Turismo no more. They freaking ruined it with, with, with their update, nerfing the rewards. I can't even get myself to touch that game anymore. I mean, good God. I mean, I'm not an Elden Ring player. I'm not really into that style of, of, of game. So this, for me, has been a breath of fresh air. And I've been, an enjoy I've been enjoying it ever since. Um... But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Um, leave a comment down below. Let me know. Have you been playing Fortnite? And if you have been playing Fortnite, what has your been experience like? What do you think about this no building style? Do you prefer no building or do you prefer building? Or do you prefer to have an option? Do you like to play maybe play both? I mean, let me know down in the comments below. Um, let me know what you think about everything that I said in this video. Um, Call of Duty to this i mean what do, do, do you agree with everything that i'm saying or do you disagree let me know let's have a little bit of a, de uh, of a debate because i really think this is good for gaming I and mean, fortnite is it it's it does it you know it's amazing but i gotta go let me know drop a like subscribe if you're new and uh yeah let me know what you think have a good one